<laughs> so yeah, anyways, you're absolutely right. That company right there. So anyways, um, there, there was a slight, there was a slight little problem. Wait, wait a minute. Let me get my, let me get my Habao uh, biased glasses off. I don't know, man. Sometimes people just push your buttons. So anyways, um, we do have actually a problem with this truck. Uh, and I got to get this out of the way. My computer's doing some kind of a stupid update or, or whatever. But uh, the problem that I came across, so when I had that crash and I, and I kind of keyed on very specifically where it landed it landed full beans right on this wheel right here full weight full everything and that was running the uh 600 milliamp uh dual packs 100c from ovonic uh somewhere over here pile of packs but anyways um there's something right there <laughs> there's something right there because when i had uh when i was driving this thing obviously i, I did notice that this is a common issue that I have seen before with these Habaos. And, and it's not just with the Habaos either. It's, it's with any other RC company out there that you will have things loosen up. And I did have that loosen up. Now, I still kind of was like thinking to myself, man, it's like something's stuffed in. It's like something's kind of just acting wrong. Uh, the crazy part is, is I have no idea where the footage is that because i saw this breakage i recorded the fact that i found the breakage so if you look in there you can actually see they got a little floppy thing right here so what that piece is right there it's basically this piece right here so this is off of my mt plus two so i'm gonna go ahead and all all of these pin blocks so all of these a b c and d blocks they're all, they're all exactly the same thing. So what I'm going to do right now, I wanted to get out and rip it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to with the time frame that we got today. But if I can fix this in a quick enough amount of time, and yes, I am going to video it, which is probably going to mess things up. If I can fix this in quick enough time, I'm going to get back out there and drain some more packs. I literally have a pack of six batteries or a stack of six batteries to drain out there at Diamond Dust. And somebody had mentioned uh, to go ahead and take it over to Diamond Dust too. And you know what? I think you're right. All right. So it's it's still doing its update. Thing. So what I'm going to do is uh, kind of focus on what we got going here. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to just do this. Um, um, this is probably going to be a crappy video. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to take the front wheels off. I'm going to basically separate the front suspension from the chassis of the truck so wheels off that's number one so oh my god do i really crank this on here <laughs> now i'm using the wrong wheel wrench that's probably part of my issue should be using uh this thing but how can I use it when I don't have the thing on the jigger? Come on, guy. What the heck are you doing? Ah, oh, man. Well, Habal has these... Oh, there we go. Habal has these awesome uh, wrench things here that I absolutely love. It just... It fits in the hand nice. So, this wheel off. I did try to take most of the um, dirt and stuff off, and I think I've got to get this uh, computer screen out of here because otherwise I'm going to end up destroying it with uh, mud and stuff on the screen. All right. Wow. Come on. Off. Come on. What the heck, guy? So the bench is kind of, um, I did kind of clean it off just to make things easier. Uh, I am going to have to get rid of that. I like it here, but it's making it so I can't do stuff. So, uh, let's see. Now I've got to go ahead and go after the two screws that are right here and here, which basically attach this brace here. 
Then there's two screws down there I gotta pop off. Then I gotta take off, uh, I can actually take off probably this link and take that link off and leave this kind of connected. Then flip it over. Yeah, I'll show you. Watch, watch how easy this should be. And this is all by memory. So, I mean, I could be getting something wrong here, but from memory, this is the process. So that screw, this screw. So I got those two screws, which will do this top brace. And then I've got to get the two screws that are down in there, which that's going to be using this. And what that is, is that attaches the uh, uh, front brace to the um, to the front diff. So actually, I can. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> the wife came home with some groceries, so she needed. Um, not needed. She just wanted my assistance. So, so there's two screws that are down here. Uh, right there. One, two. Those need to pop off. So we're gonna go ahead and reach those with this driver. Yeah. All right. Let's see. There we go. One. And we got this one for two. Get those two out. So, so far, four screws. <laughs> now, um, the determination was whether if I was going to take off this side or that side. And you know what? I think I changed my mind. I'm going to go ahead and pop this out because otherwise I'd have to flip the truck over right now and I don't feel like it. So I'm going to go ahead, get this over here. Pop that screw out and then flip the truck around. And do the same thing, steering this way, go after that screw. Bam. Now we, so far we got six screws off just to go ahead and separate this. Now I'm gonna flip the truck over. Remember, this is all just by, uh, this is all kind of just by memory here. So I could be wrong. Um, I don't think I am, but so now um, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. These seven screws need to be taken out. This screw and this screw are captured by a lock nut underneath. This one just goes into this plastic piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and go after the center one right now. And I think this one might be a shorter one. So we've got that length right there. I'm going to go ahead and get a little, one of those little wrenches in there on the underneath because it is captured. Get one of those little wrenches in there. Uh, maybe not. I might have to get, might have to get this in there. So, let's see. Go in, ah. Going right under there. Come on. Here we go. And go ahead and pop this one off. Yeah, so definitely longer. So that was that one. Uh, where's the other one? I don't know. It's here somewhere. And there's obviously the uh, lock nut. That other screw is right here. So. You can definitely see the difference between those two screws. The two outer ones are gonna be longer. So go after that other one. Get that screw right there. Like I said, from memory, uh, this whole front end 
should come away. So here we go. Oops. So so far we got more screws taken out. <laughs> we got uh, we got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we got nine. How do we get nine screws? <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and go after one, two, three, four, and then this whole front should uh, pop away here. So let's see. Am I right? Oops. Piles of dirt. One. Two. Three. And then four. This should pop the whole front away. If I remember right. Watch it not. And. Okay, so we got that. And then. I'm missing something here. Okay. This, I believe, is keyed in. So there we go. Push up on that. And then... Alright, so that's out. That's off. That should just pop away. Um, yeah. I might have to take off this top brace. Dang, I can't tell. Oh, it looks like I'm missing a screw too. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop off this top brace just to see if that's what's stopping me. So there's that. That was it. <laughs> That was it! Alright, so it looks like I am actually missing this setup right here. So there should have been two of these going in through the top. I was definitely missing one. Because there was supposed to be one that goes in between there. So I don't know, and by the way this looks, man, it looks like I may have been missing it. So I didn't detail go over the truck with a fine tooth comb here, but it kind of almost seems like it's that way. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of clean this stuff off. I want to make sure things are relatively all right. Um, I want to pop this off so i'm gonna have to go after that screw there which that one's loose anyway right is that one loose yes that one is loose why is my phone all right let's see all right so that does come off like that so let's see pop out this whole front suspension just because I want to get all the grime and dirt and garbage off of there. It almost looks as though the box is in the way, but I think I can sneak it off. There we go. All right. So there is some grit and stuff in there, so I am going to go ahead and clean that. Got the lower bearings still in there. Those are in place. I'm just going to kind of clean up right now just this area here slide that bearing down and get this bearing into place as well oh man come on there we go so now those two bearings are back in place where they should be get that out of here like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and clean it up real quick right now. I'm going to buzz this through just to kind of clean that off. Buzz it through this way. And there we go. All nice and clean. So looking good. So yeah. 
So that uh, little ball end thing did get unscrewed with that. So that's going to need some Loctite on there. So I'll place that aside. Here's the top plate. So from the way this looks, that screw was missing, I think. I do think that screw was missing. Kind of surprising. With a bow, usually that stuff doesn't get lost. So I am going to go ahead and steal it off of my other one. So while I've got this open, you can see what broke. Literally all it was was this. Also gets you a good look at what the uh, front diff looks like. These gears are Mod 1 gears that they use in these trucks. Very beefy, very chunky. So what I will do is I will... Uh, there is grease in there. The gears actually do look sufficiently greased, but per what I do, I will grease this while I've got it open. So this plastic top piece broke. So this little pin and retainer piece, that broke. So that's held in with that. Got this one off. So you can see that pin broke this piece right here and then yeah dude that had some stress on it look at that man is this the same piece where's my other piece i've got the brand new one well not brand new one but yeah okay so it is the same exact piece Yeah, look at that, huh? Broke right at that section right there, fractured it. So go ahead and take the new piece, stick that on. Not new, but you know what I mean. I'm not gonna check the pins or anything. I gotta get the uh, plastic piece. I gotta get this piece, the little uh, pin retainer. I gotta get that to uh, fit on there. So I'll be, I'll be right back again. All right, so was able to scavenge it off of my other truck. Doesn't look like there's any difference with the new part from the old, except this one has that hole right there. But I wonder if that's because that's the difference between... Yeah, I don't know. See how that one's got like that hole right there? So it could be the difference between, um, this is a rear one, but that could be a parts revision. So I'm not sure if this one's stronger or not. It looks like the old one. The old one looks slightly beefier. So we'll see. Uh, the other thing too is um, this setup. I'm obviously not going to be able to do this because the old one doesn't have this exact setup. It's not the same, which is funny. So, I'm not to figure something out on that because I do want to have that top brace be a part of the structure. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish putting this together. Like I said, it looks like we're fine here. Put that on. Go ahead and re-screw it all together here. Come on. Get in there. which is which here so those screws that screws that one that one is that one 
Those two came from what? <laughs> Not from that. Yeah, I gotta figure out. I gotta figure that out. I got two, too long and too short. All right. Well, for now, I'm gonna toss in a shorter screw just to see what it feels like. Okay. It feels like that can't tell. Yeah, it may have been the shorter one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just install it anyway. See what happens. Definitely went in there nice. There's no grit in there. So I can go ahead and feed my uh, stuff that I put in there. I'm going to go put that in there right now. A little healthy dose. Just like that right there. Just adding. Adding to the mix. That's it. And it will do its thing. It'll coat when this thing is slamming around. Blob in there. There we go. There we go. That's what I like to see. Just like that. Okay. So we're good there. Let's put that on. It's kind of funny, huh? I don't know what that is. So, go ahead and get this put back together here. Get the steering. So, I'm going to give the steering, while I've got it out, I am going to give the steering just a slight little crank tighter while it's out. I say I'm going to, but how can I when I don't have the... that together. Go ahead and put this back on. Fit that into place. Put that into place. Here we go. Alright, now make sure there's nothing there. back together drive shaft I think I can do it so I have to kind of be like that kind of funky but let's see if I can get it. ah there we go it's getting right in there just gonna rotate it right there Okay, that's in, and need to get that down into its spot. So it seems like the, there yeah, we go, steering had to come up slightly. Get that located, push that down. Okay, so now I've got this top plate. This top plate is going this way, like that, and then this piece, which I do need to find that other screw, that will then lock down into this piece here. I wonder if I should um, put those screws on first. Ah, that's what that was. That's what that was. So the shorter screws were for that, I think. All right, I'm just gonna pop this out real quick again. So these screws, I'm gonna check the depth real quick. Oop. 
Come on, guy. Real quick. Yeah, guy. Using the wrong drivers to check depth. Okay. That's pretty deep. That's pretty deep. I'm going to go ahead and go with what I've got. Drive shaft. Back in. Slide this back into position. Put the drive shaft into its slot. Slide that into there. Push that down. Put this bracket back on. Going this way. Right there. Get these two long screws. Oh. <laughs> what a disaster. I'll get it. I'll get it. I believe this is what it is. Yeah, definitely is. Okay, good. See, now at least that kind of holds that kind of in place and then what I can do is flip it around go ahead and put that one in get this started get it in there there we go get that in place like that uh, then I can go ahead and just flip this around kind of holding it together and what I want to do is I want to make sure I want to at least get one screw in there just to hold it together so then I can kind of let go. Good. I'm going to go ahead and drive the other screws in. tweak give it a tweak same thing very very easy to do now we had the um, two long screws two long screws and the one short the one short obviously went here in place. I think we're good. Go ahead and drive these in, but I do need to put it, I'm going to put it, feed it into the driver and then feed this into there. Put this down and in and then hopefully see that it comes out. right there Ooh, grab all right I think yeah okay so that is one of those kind so it like threads it threads while it's going in so go ahead Feels like my this bit is finally junk. So I'll just grab my blue driver. That's tight. And that's tight. Alright. That's that one. Load up the other one. I'm going to take this over to my grinder real quick. Just give it a yeah, touch up. Because my grinder's in the garage and I don't feel like messing with it. <laughs> Forget it. 
So let's just flip this on its side or edge or something. Because you know? so what I want to do is when I feed this in, I want to make sure that once it comes out the top, I want to make sure I've got my this kind of ready for it. It's funny how this is like threaded in and then the nut is on the top. So I'll thread this all the way in until it buries right there. And then I'll take this and hopefully put this on the top. There we go. Got it. Bam. Done. Okay. That's together. Now, got these two long screws. That's for the steering. I'm going to go ahead and connect up the uh, servo thing right now. Getting in there. Pop it up on top. And get this. Screw that down. Okay. Uh, I need to get from underneath. So I'm going to flip it over again. So it's that screw. It's that screw right there. So I gotta somehow get both of them. This is when an L wrench comes into play. funky for me. How am I going to get that? Go like that. Get the right size driver. Maybe that'll help. Flip it over and then grab it from underneath. There we go, guy. Now you got it. There, that there. We got one, two, three, four screws left. Technically five, but six, because I do have to. Um, I do have to figure out another one of these kind of deals. So what I may have to do is just do a washer or a stacked washer with another uh, screw, cap screw. That's like this one right here to fit down in there onto there. So I do need to put on this front brace right here, this piece. Stick that into place. Bam, bam. And that gets held in by two screws through the front. And that'll be these two screws. Do need to make that driver better. Actually work. Okay. And I got these two long screws for the steering. Let's 
So it looks like we're going to actuate the steering this way. Bring it out that way. Come on, guy, get in there. There we go. Actuate the steering over here. Put that into place. There we go. That's in. Now I just need to put in that screw, which is this one. But I want to find, I want to find one that can fit, just like the other one, maybe with a stacked washer. I'll be back. Did find one right away. But I didn't find a washer to stack on it, so I know I've got washers here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Washers. So I'm just gonna do one washer since it's not as many threads. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe I will do two washers. Do it like that. And that is just to be able to get into that little section right there. So, look at that. Close enough, man. All right. So I am going to put just a little squeeze of uh, Loctite on there. Just a little squeeze. So, I got some on there. And I'll just transfer it to the other one. That way they both have just a little squeeze of Loctite. Go ahead and put this one in. This is the one that was missing. Put that one in that side. And then the one it wasn't missing is going to go on the opposite side with the washer stack. Come on, here we go. Happy, much better. All right, uh, it's all set, dude. <laughs> there's no extra. There's no extra screws. So that's a positive right there. Should be doing is putting on the new wheel nuts. I got those flanged wheel nuts. I should be putting those on. Oh, the sun is literally gone already. Spit it over. side in and 
crank. Hey, right. that's it. Things fixed. All right. So, anyways, this is RC Guy Garage. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my Habao biased glasses so that I can actually see clearly with my biased glasses. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead over to uh, Diamond Dust and burn some packs. What are you doing today? Oh! Oh, right to that rock, dude.